What's going on, everybody? It's Elder Jacoby Owens coming to you Wednesday, July 1st, for a quick word on Wednesday. Now, the scripture I want to come from today is coming from 2 Chronicles 15, and then we'll be jumping over to Psalm 18. All right? The 2 Chronicles 15 reads, uh, and we're going to jump down to the 16th verse. And also concerning Meaka, the mother of Asa, the king, he removed her from being queen because she had made an idol in a grove. And Asa cut down her idol and stamped it and burnt it at the brook Kidron. But the high places were not taken away out of Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect all his days. And he brought into the house of God the things that his father had dedicated and that he himself had dedicated, silver and gold and vessels. And there was no more war until the five and thirty thirtieth year of the reign of Asa. And uh, I'm gonna uh, pause right here because uh, it's interesting to look at. Asa had a parentage that was divided. His father was a man of God, and and his mother was a, uh, you know, his father did things pertaining unto the Lord uh, in service and worship of the Lord uh, in dedication to the Lord, and his mother she apparently did not do these things you know because she had her idol or, or she did it she strayed away to her idols and um she had groves and and she was on the whole uh idolatrous side of of spirituality the thing about it is asa wasn't torn asa wasn't like well i worship god this day and on this day i worship the idols of my mother you know he didn't he wasn't as, a, as, as it says in Revelation, he wasn't lukewarm. He was either cold or hot. And he was hot. He was on fire for the Lord. And uh, he did what was necessary. He didn't not get rid of her idols. He didn't keep her in her position, even though she was idolatrous just because she was his mother. You know, he, he uh, had her step down, removed her from her place, and got rid of her idols, you know. And um, that's an encouragement. That's a, that's a uh, lesson for us because we have to either be hot or cold, you know, because we have family members that we love dearly, right? But they're not walking the right path. Though we accept them for who they are, but we don't accept the sin. You know what I mean? Um, us being representative of, representatives of God, we have to act accordingly, you know. Um, I know some quote unquote Christians who have some members of their family who are homosexual and they went to uh, support their homosexual relative and they went to a gay parade, the homosexual gay pride parade or whatever. You know, that's that's out of order. You know, that's that's lukewarmness because the Bible says we are supposed to stand against these things, we're supposed to reach out, but in love, not in, in condemnation, but in love. You know, um, because as we look at, as my boy again, as we look at chapter 15 in the beginning, it says, uh, And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah the son of Obed, and he went out to meet Asa, and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is, the Lord is with you while ye be with him, and if ye seek him, he will be found of you. But if ye forsake him, he will forsake you. That just reminded me of Psalm 18, verse 25 and 26. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. You know, um, it's not one of those things where you can hold on to the scripture that says that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Because... If we're with him, if we're not leaving or forsaking him, he won't leave us or forsake us. But if we want to turn our back on him, yeah, he'll he'll walk away. If we want to walk away from him, he'll walk away from us. You know, so um, it's just an encouragement, just a reminder that you know, because God doesn't accept anything. You know, he'll accept us as we are, but he'll he's expecting a change when we get there, All right, when 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 we finally meet up with him. Oh, this baby is distracting me. Sorry. But, um, 
you know, prayerfully these scriptures have been a blessing for you, as they've been a blessing for me, because we're moving into dark times right now, you know, and as we move into these dark times, we have to be reminded of these various scriptures, not to give in, not to give up, not to uh, uh, conform to the ways of the world, but to hold our ground, to stand firm in Christ on that solid rock, all right? Well, uh, remember Monday is the Monday prayer, Tuesday's testimony Tuesday. If you have a prayer request or a testimony, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me an email at jacodio at gmail.com and we'll pray together and um, I'll share your testimony. All right. Until next time, be blessed.